Hey guys, in this video we're going to talk about how to set up your payroll management system in C-Store Pro. Now C-Store Pro has a pretty robust system overall uh, and our payroll management is not meant to actually replace your current payroll, it's more meant to just be for basic settings and basic things if you have only a few employees that you're actually paying. Uh, so now with that being said, let's talk about how to set up your payroll. So the first thing you want to do is you want to go into the payroll tab and go into settings and set your basic tasks up. What's your social security, Medicaid, you know, federal unemployment, uh, and when your pay period starts and how you, you know, basically uh, which expense category you want to put your payroll into. And you have all your expense categories listed over here. Once you do that, you want to click on update settings. And then click on this link right here, right click on it and copy it. Uh, be sure you're using Google Chrome for all of this stuff. Uh, and when you are using Google Chrome, simply just drag it down and drag this link over to your desktop by clicking on that little lock icon in the front and just dragging it to your desktop. Once you've done that, right click on it, go to properties and you have this link that you copied earlier that you want to paste onto your desktop which has the encryption code and all that stuff for clocking in and clocking out. You can also go in here and just basically update the logo to something if you want, you know, something nice um, and get that logo updated. updated. Once you're done with that, you just hit apply and OK. Be sure to also change the name at the bottom just to say, you know, ePay clock or something like that uh, so your employees know what they're clicking on. Now, once this is set, uh, you want to now go in and set up your employees and be sure to set this where your employees have access to the computer so that they can clock in and clock out themselves. Once you've set this up, the next step is to obviously set up your employees. So you want to go into payroll, employees, and you'll see a list of all your employees over here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to add a new employee. I'm going to give it a name here, John Doe. If they're going to clock in, clock out using a fingerprint or a password. So I'm going to say password and I'm going to enter in this password here. Uh, and are you going to be creating payroll checks in our system or are you just going to be using our system to manage their timesheet? So just for the sake of demonstration, I'm going to say yes, I am going to create a payroll. The employee is paid hourly at the rate of $10 an hour. Uh, per pay period, right? So if you click on this question mark, it just says pay per pay period, regardless if you're paying weekly or monthly or bi-weekly. Uh, and then if there's any additional withholdings that you want. So in this case, I'll just leave that as none. And I'll go ahead and create this employee. Now, once you've done that piece of it, uh, all you have to do is when your employee is literally clocking in, clocking out on the desktop, you'd have this minimized. Your employee will double click on this ePay clock, in which case the system will select which employee you have in your store and you can just say is clocking in and clocking out so for example I'll select John Doe here I'll enter in the password update and John Doe is now clocked in and he clocked in at this time um, and then whenever he's done with the shift again he'll just click on that link click over here and enter in his or her password update it and now John Doe is clocked out of the system so that's pretty much it for the basic settings of ePay Clock. Now let's talk about what happens next. Now, because it's the same application, what will happen is, you know, if you do do this, you're going to have to log back into your system. So for example, if I try to do anything else over here, like uh, employees, it's going to say access denied. The reason for this is because it's logged into a different user. So what you have to do is you have to sign out and just sign back in. So uh, what you can do is you can go into your payroll and you can look at all your timesheets for your employees, right? So this is basically just a reporting of all your timesheets for your employee when they're clocking and clocking out. Now in order to create their timesheets, you can just go into price book, reports, and you can go into payroll summary. Now here you can run the timesheet for basically all your employees or particular employees. So let's say I want to run my timesheet for my employee last week and I basically paid them from the 15th through the 20, let's say just January, February. So let's say 15th through the 28th is when I paid it. I'll do submit. I'll come in here and select which employee and I'll run the report by day or by week. And let's say I run it by day. So here's my report by day. So it's telling me this employee worked this many hours in regular. 
this much in overtime and this much in overtime times two, so this is my total hours. I can, if I have a separate payroll system, I can just basically get print this out from my employee, get them to sign it, and then basically print, you know, and turn these hours into my payroll system, such as ADP or something like that. For C Store Pro to do this, you can just click on, you know, payroll, click on paychecks, add new paycheck, select the employee that you're paying. So let's say, for example, for this particular case, I select uh, Hugo. And the last time I paid him was on this date. So by default, the system only allows you to go, you know, uh, that date to that date. So you can do it either by weekly or by monthly, or sorry, by by bi week, right? Two times a week. Uh, so you click this, and then it'll basically create a. Uh, oops, I did November. I want to do October, and it'll create the uh, view for you. There you go, right? So it'll basically tell you based on what the employees work from that time to that time what you're basically going to be paying them. So in this particular case, zero hours of overtime and now because John Doe was just recently set up, I can always adjust this as well if there was a mistake made in the clock in uh, information, right? So it's basically telling you what the hourly rate is, what the times 1.5 is and times two is in the gross pay. After taking into account all of this information, this is his net pay. And then you can select which uh, payroll remarks with bank account, check number, check date, and the and additional remarks you want and create this payroll. So let's say for example, I just come in here and I select this, the, this the account, this is the check number, it's gonna be for today's date, and my remark is test. Now I can come in here and I can create this payroll for John Doe. Once this payroll is created, I can simply come in here and print my paycheck for John Doe, and it's already set up to pre-sign. So if you look at it here, it's kind of tiny, but uh, let me scoot it over here for you guys. You can basically get everything and it's a simple three-step payment where you can just print it out on a you know, check stub and it's already pre-signed because of the bank settings that you're going to do. Um, and just give that to your employees and you're all set. Once you've done that piece of it, you can come into here and run all sorts of report, right? Tax reports, you can look at your past paychecks, all that stuff uh, right through the system. Uh, if you have any questions on this, please don't hesitate to contact us. It's 281-265-2245. Uh, Hope this was pretty informative for you guys uh, to kind of get going with the payroll management in uh, C-Store Pro. Thanks, guys.